Hi everybody, today we are making carnivore biscuits and sausage gravy. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. For those of you returning subscribers, welcome back. I hope you all check out some of my other videos and I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so today I am making something that I learned about on my recent road trip to Texas. Most of you probably know that I just got back from Texas. I was on the road for two weeks. We ate in a lot of hotels. Every morning we went down to the lobby of whatever hotel we stayed in, which was mostly places like Holiday Inn and Best Western, Quality Inn. That type of place. Because they always offer free breakfast, free parking. They'd have bacon, eggs, all kinds of carby things that nobody can have. They always, and this is not a thing here in Canada, but it seems to be a real thing in the States is biscuits and gravy. I don't eat biscuits and gravy uh, as a rule. It's, it, you know, like I said, you don't really see that here, but my son enjoyed them. And so I thought, well, when I come back, I would try to make a carnivore version. So I went out searching uh, for something that I could do with the biscuits. First, I thought I would do one of my recipes like the, um, you know, the cloud buns or the BBBE buns. Uh, but then I tried one that uh, had the consistency of cornbread, which I thought was kind of cool. It's not exactly like the soft biscuits they were serving up, but I thought it would it would work okay. That recipe happens to be one that was done by Courtney Luna again, and I know I just did one recently, but you know I uh, I have discovered her recently, and I'm kind of fangirling on some of her recipes. So this this is something that she called a dinner roll. I'm going to call it biscuits, and I'm not going to use the pork rinds. I'm I'm going to put the flour in, and see how that goes. I think it'll be great. Um, oh, and I saw her at KetoCon. In fact, I saw her, I saw her at this restaurant, Terry Black's Barbecue. That was an amazing place to eat. Everybody seemed to, you know, walk across the street from the Palmer Center and go there to eat. So I did run into her. Um, and I should have asked her about these, these biscuits, um, but I had kind of forgotten in just all the excitement of, of meeting her. So uh, we're going to make them today and we're going to make uh, the sausage gravy is pretty free form. You can make that out of anything that you have on hand and we'll do that in a moment. But first I want to get these started because they take about 10 minutes in the air fryer. So I'm, I'm going to make four biscuits and what I've done is I've taken these little silicone muffin cups and I've greased them with butter so they are ready to go. The first time I made the biscuits I they stuck to like I made them in a regular ramekin and they stuck so I thought I'm gonna try them in a greased muffin thingy. And uh, so we'll put that aside and I'll tell you what's in them. This is two tablespoons of butter in here. It's, it's quite soft. And I've got four tablespoons of the chicken breast flour from Carnivore Crisp. If you haven't tried these, the, these are excellent. I've been making, you know, muffins and the meat bread and a few other things with them. Uh, the toast crackers are really good and I'm really loving it. Now, I know I'm gonna get the questions because I get these comments every time I use it. Uh, can you use something cheaper? Uh, yes, the original recipe calls for pork rinds. So I usually substitute about one to two, two tablespoons of the carnivore flour, this flour, the meat flour with four tablespoons of pork rinds. So, cause the pork rinds are fluffier. They're not as dense as the flour. So it's a different amount, uh, but you can go and find the original recipe of this and you'll see the exact amount. Everything else is the same. So that's one way that you can do this recipe different. 
the other thing is that some people, if they're not in the U.S., like maybe they're in Europe, uh, I'm in Canada, shipping is pretty steep here, and some people just don't want to get the meat flour. There are recipes on YouTube out there where people have made their own meat flour, so you can go seek them out and, and make your own. As far as convenience, um, you know, I'm pretty busy these days and uh, this, I just don't have time to make my own meat flour, although I do want to try it someday. Uh, I, I think these are great and uh, I, you know, if you're able to give it a try, give it a try. Uh, I'm going to put my link below where you will get 10% off. So I've got my softened, like room temperature soft, two tablespoons of butter. There's four tablespoons of the chicken flour. You can use any of them. I just like the neutral flavor of the chicken flour for the biscuit part. So this is four tablespoons, quarter of a cup. I'm going to put it in here and I'm just gonna mush that up a bit. Oh, I need my eggs. I need two eggs. Okay, I'm going to put two eggs in here. I would suggest that you do not add salt because the uh, flour, the meat flour, does have some Redmond salt in it and I found that it was plenty salty enough without adding any more salt. So just so you know. If you have any of those little uh, drops, those flavor drops that are cornbread flavored, I think it would be really good in here. I don't have any, so um, that's something I've never seen here in Canada. Okay, I'm going to start this up. We're going to put it at 400. Uh, I'm just gonna use air fry option. Um, I suppose you could use the bake option, but, and I'm setting it for 10 minutes. I'm adding an extra tablespoon. I just feel like the batter might be a little bit thin. So, and I kind of noticed that my cup, it was sort of, it had settled down, so you need a good heaping quarter cup of the flour, I think. Yeah, that looks a little better. Now it won't, the batter will not be as thick as when you use pork rinds. That is a much thicker batter, but it still does work very nicely. So that is ready. So I am going to divide this up into my cups here. All right, let's put them in here. We're going to let that go for 10 minutes and I'm going to take you all over to the stove where we make the sausage gravy. And I'm going to use the organ blend flour, beef and organ blend flour for that. Okay, we're here at the stove. I'm going to make the sausage gravy. Now, like I said, this is pretty free form. Uh, I made a commitment this month to shop my freezer before I bought any more meat. And so I found a bag of uh, meatball, leftover meatballs that I had made, and I'm gonna squish those down and use that in my sausage gravy. You can buy sausage uh, that is pre-seasoned or unseasoned and season your own. You can buy, you know, just a pound of ground pork or ground beef, lamb, you know, whatever it is that you normally like to make sausage from. I'm sure that there are traditional ways to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna get this, I'm just gonna heat up these meatballs, squish them into chunky pieces. I've got some bacon grease in there and we're gonna get that started. And then once that's all cooked up uh, nicely, I'm going to be adding some cream and a couple of tablespoons of the beef and organ flour. I like this one for the gravy because it, it just has a really deep flavor to me, um, more than the chicken, but you can certainly just use the chicken flour as well. Um, you know, or you don't even have to use it. it. You know, you can make the gravy however you normally make gravy, except for maybe not with flour, you know, regular flour. Uh, and then I will, I have uh, a little chunk of cream cheese here that I want to use up. I'm going to let that melt in there, just to give it more creaminess. Again, optional, uh, make it how you like it. And just in case it ends up too thick, I have some bone broth here. 
but I'm hoping I don't have to open that and, and use it. So let's start squishing up the meatballs. I'm not even 100% sure if these meatballs that I took out of the freezer this morning are made with turkey or beef. Uh, I guess when I taste it, uh, I hopefully I'll know, it, but it doesn't matter. For you Canadians, I'm using Avalon cream. You can pretty much get that at any grocery store. And the only ingredient is cream. There's no, no fillers, gums, or anything like that. Content, organic cream. And that's it. It's very good. I'm going to add a, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of butter as well, just to give it, uh, give it a little more I'm just going to throw in a tablespoon. These are all ta measured tablespoons. And a couple of tablespoons of the organ, beef organ flour. Should give it some nice flavor. This is uh, about two to three tablespoons. I'm just gonna let it melt. Oops. And I will write down what I used below. So, cause I know I get asked a lot of times when I do something like this, uh, why the recipe isn't on my website. It's because it just coming out of my head right now. <laughs> so you're not gonna find it on my website. I. I tend to make these things up as I go. So, but I do, I, I will re-watch the video and figure out what I put in, type it out below, and then you can copy and paste it wherever you like. And eventually it will end up on my website. I do have somebody who is working her little heart out, uh, getting, a lot of my YouTube recipes that aren't on the website transcribed so that they can, you know, there's a few of them that have gone up lately, but it's a lot of work. And uh, eventually, eventually it'll all get there. Okay. That's more or less melted. So I'm not exactly sure how much cream is going to end up in here, but we'll start with half a cup. Let's see how that goes. And turn down the heat to medium. This will thicken up a bit as it, uh, it simmers for a little bit of time here. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm gonna let that simmer and check on the biscuits. Oh yes, they look good. and they look like they're going to come out of there easily. I'm not gonna have to chisel them out. Don't do what I did. Flipper. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the gravy now and see how it's doing. it a little taste. I like the thickness of it. I don't think I'm gonna add any more cream and I don't think I need to add any bone broth to it. Oh mama. Mm. Okay this is good. I'm going to turn off the heat. Now I see why they like biscuits and gravy everywhere. We are missing out on this Canadians. Okay, I'm going to bring this over uh, to the island here and serve this up. 
All right, I am going to dish a little bit of this up. So I have four biscuits here. Um, now the ones that I saw being made, I think it was on Instagram, they, they were bigger, they were dinner roll size. So I wanted them to be flatter. So I, that's why I divided it into four containers instead of two, because they're like this, they're like little biscuits. And I cooked them for the same amount of time, but take a look at the texture of these. And let me just give that a try. I really like them. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like them. I love the texture of them. They just remind me of cornbread, texture-wise. <laughs> I need a just a little serving spoon here. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm gonna try this. Well, I already did over there. It was so good, I could hardly wait to eat it. <laughs> that was so good. So, let me try what they were doing. I saw people doing this. I don't know exactly what traditional biscuits and gravy are supposed to taste like because to be honest, I've never had them. Um, but this is really good. So if you have never had them, you can try them this way. And if you have had them and you're missing them, uh, you know, because you're carnivore and you think you'll never have biscuits and gravy again, give it a try because it's really good. And thank you for all of the people in those hotels making all those free breakfasts, uh, serving up biscuits and gravy and inspiring me to make this recipe. And uh, thank you to Carnivore Chris for sending me those uh, containers of flour. Thank you so much for watching the video. I do have a couple of other in, you know, recipes that were inspired by my trip coming up. And when you see me wearing this apron, you will know I'm about to make one because this is my Texas apron. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. I was about to go over there and clean my glasses, and then you just, I'm just gonna do it on my shirt. And uh, partook in there. No, that's, that's not even a word. Partook, partake, partake. I, I, well, I shouldn't even say that because I haven't tried it yet. I'm not gonna scratch all that, scratch all that. Oh, I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch all that. We'll just move on.